Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for T's. We have been solving T's math problems out of this book here, the official study guide, version 7, 2025. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Always make sure that this book is in front of you when we're working together. Today is our lesson number 13. Today is lesson number 13 and we are on page number 106. On page 106, if you have the book in front of you, you will see that on page 106 there are five what they're calling practice problem, five word problems. Today we'll do only, the, only one of them, the very first one. As you can see the problem, problem is already on the blackboard. Page 106, let's take a look at it. I'm going to read the problem to you and then I would very much prefer that you pause the video and do the problem yourself and then compare your work against the work that we'll do together, okay? It's a very straightforward, very simple problem. We have a flower garden. We are told that we have a flower garden and we're going to use the square pavers. The square pavers that we're going to use are 4 inches by 4 inches. Use square pavers 4, four, four inch by 4 inch to put around the perimeter of a flower bed and we are told the flower bed is 8 feet by 2 feet. The question is very straightforward. How many papers do I need to buy? Go ahead, do it yourself. Pause the video. I'll give you a second to be able to pause and unpause the video. Let's see what we can do, shall we? I'm going to erase the problem so we have a little bit more room to work with. Remember, it's 8 by 2 and the papers are 4 by 4. So let's make our flower bed. Let's make a flower bed and see what we're dealing with here, okay? 8 by 8 by 2. So let's pretend that this is 8 feet and this is 2 feet. So that's our flower bed. And around it we're going to put the pavers. The pavers are going to go like something like this. Do you understand? Okay? So let's begin, shall we? The pavers are four, four inch by four inch. Four inch by four inch. Let so why, why me take care of this side first. This is two feet. This is two feet. Two feet is 24 inches. 24 inches and since each paver is only four inch, each paver has the dimensions of four by four. So as you can see, 24 divided by four, that tells us they're going to need six pavers. Six pavers will cover the length from here up to here, six pavers. This, this part we're going to need six pavers, one on top of the other, one, two, three, four, five, six, and this, since there are four inch each, four, eight, twelve, uh, sixteen, twenty, and twenty-four, six of them will cover there. Similarly, we need six pavers to go from here to here, six pavers. In case you made a mistake when you were doing the problem, and if you just happen to see your mistake, you can fix it right now. Pause the video and fix it right now. So we're going to need six pavers there. Now let's cover from here to here. From here to here, this distance, this distance we are told is 8 feet. 8 feet are made up, of, made up of 8 times 12 inches. Are you with me? Obviously, because each, each foot is 12 inches. So 8 times 12, that's how many inches you have in 8 feet. And the pavers that we have, they are, all, they are 4 inches long. As you can see, inches are going to drop out and it's going to tell us how many pavers we need. Divide top and bottom by 4, 4 is going to drop out, 8 is going to become 2, and 2 times 12 is 24. That means we need 24 pavers to go this side right here. And this distance is also 8 feet. This distance is also 8 feet. So we need 24 pavers for that. How many pavers is that? Well, let's see. So from here to here we need 24 pavers. From here to here we need another 24 pavers. So that's 24 plus 24. To go from here to here we just found out that we need 6 pavers. And then from to go from here to here we need 6 more pavers. It looks to me, looks to me that we need 60 pavers. And if you did come up with the answer for 60, then of course you made a fatal error 
and I made it very obvious the way I drew the picture. I, I try to make it as obvious as possible so that you pick up on it that if you bought only 60 pavers thinking that you're going to need six on this side and eight on this side that is correct six pavers will cover a distance of two feet and that is correct 24 pavers will cover a distance of eight feet but what is going to happen to these corners what's going to happen to these corners we have all of these corners that are left unattended we need to buy we need to buy four extra pavers to take care of the corners and therefore we do not need 30 plus 30 is 60, we need 64, 64 pavers. The landscaper will tell you that they always pay attention to the fact that whenever they are putting something around the perimeter of something, unless it is circular, that's a different story, but if it's rectangular or square, you always have to keep in mind to take care of the corners. That was it. We'll meet again tomorrow. That was the end of it. We are landscapers now. We'll meet again tomorrow and we'll do the other problems that you see there. Three, four, five. This was problem number one. This was problem number one and there are five problems there. And I just said tomorrow we'll do three, four and five. What about problem number two? Well, next problem is also something that I want to do separately because it deals with a very important concept. And when the, uh, when the time comes, you'll see what it is. But tomorrow we're going to problem number three, four and five. Okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Okay? Bye now.